Hey everybody, welcome to Agent Mafia. I'm here interviewing some of our coaches. I got my man of the hour, Christian. You know what, what bro? We get to see each other twice this week because yeah. last time it didn't work. So we get to come and do this all over again, Round bro. Round number two. <laughs> Round number two. I'm prepared for your questions now. So I'm, I might be able to, you know, provide some more value here. I worked. Hey, I just made him up as I went. So I'm going to do the same thing, man. <laughs> so, you know, Christian, I guess, you know, you, you, you deal with VAs. It's a major part of my business. It's a major part of why I do. Uh, you know, I also want to start this off with the same kind of story where yeah. I was with Larry. You know, Larry's one of our coaches and he had a really sick post um, that was, you know, edited. And I'm like, bro, that video is sick. You know, who did that video? And uh, and he starts laughing. He sends back to me. He's like, man, he's like, you tagged me in the video. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it just goes to show the people that you brought me because you brought me a, um, somebody to edit my videos, somebody to be a social media manager. You know, like stuff's going on behind the scenes and I don't even know. So, you know, why don't you talk to the audience a little bit about what you're, what you're teaching once a month with Agent Mafia and, and kind of how that can help them grow their business. Yeah, so appreciate you having me again, Brad, for the second time. I'm hoping this recording doesn't work either, so we could do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so, so what we do, uh, you know, I'll be training on using virtual assistants and using systems inside of your business, and um, going over, you know, the proper way to vet a virtual assistant, the proper way to train, the proper way to grow a team of people that are working with you. And so, we specialize in helping people build remote teams. So. We hire per, uh, predominantly through the Philippines. We're expanding in some other countries, but right now, you know, be working. We've been working with uh, with the specific Philippines uh, for years now, and we just know the culture, and we have you know a good footing in that area. And uh, you know, just taking pieces and different things that you want to achieve, whether it be business. I know we talked about this when we talked the other day, but it's more so not just like how can we help your business accelerate, but how could we create more time. For the personal things in your life, you know, spending time with your loved ones, doing things that you'd like to do, because it's not just about building your business, but it's also, you know, comes back to a providing time for you to do things that matter the most to you, which is probably why you got in real estate was to make money, right? So, yeah, without uh, having time, are you going to spend your money? You know, we'll like to spend money around here, I'm sure. No, I love that. So, you know, if I'm a real estate agent, I'm new, I'm a veteran, I've been around for a while, whatever the case is. You know, and I'm not familiar with a virtual assistant. Like, what can a virtual assistant help me with? Like, you know, is, are they helping me input listings? Are they helping me with my social media? Are they helping me with editing? I know the answer is all of the above, but yeah. kind of what are your top things that you find that people need a virtual assistant for to help them basically expand and delegate some of these tasks? Yeah, that's a good question. So I like to break that down into four foundations. Um, they can pretty much do everything. I know one of the really main, the popular ways is lead generation, right? But, you know, aside from lead generation, there's also other things like admin tasks. You said, in, you know, listing input, inputting the listings, you know, doing all these different types of things. The answer is pretty much anything that you you can train them on. Um, you know, it's, it's goals down to like four steps is figuring out where you're at. What are your goals? That's what you have to figure out first, because some people try, I, sorry, somebody's riding a motorcycle here, but <laughs> some people try to hire virtual assistants and have no idea what to do when they hire them. And it puts you in a bad situation. It puts them in a bad situation. It's really important that you figure out number one, where are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? Number two, that you have a way to document your training, um, that you, you break down into what are called SOP, standard operating procedures, so that you can duplicate, you can clone yourself, you can multiply your time, and you can avoid having to do the tedious things you do every day, over and over again. Number three is just having a good accountability system to where you can make sure that you can communicate effectively to your team, your virtual assistants, and you guys have set KPIs. And the fourth thing is just being, uh, you know, being a human being and to that to that virtual assistant and just being a good person. Um, there's a stigma, unfortunately, sometimes in, in hiring and outsourcing overseas is like they're just like some sort of robot or some sort of like Internet slave that does everything to do your bidding. And so, like, if you can marry those four ideas together, then you can, you know, have a VA and virtual a team rather, not just one, but, you know, you have two. I've helped some people will get three, four VAs at a time with a big team, but it creates that culture and creates a team environment where you guys are actually working together as opposed to you just like barking orders, you know? I think that that was a big learning lesson for me when I got VAs at first is I kind of didn't have these things. And it's like, 
here you go, just know what to do. And then I was the kind of person, and you know that, I was like, oh my God, they don't know what to do and they suck. It's The truth was that I sucked, right? Like I had to look internally, it's like, how can I expect anybody to know what I want if I'm not taking the time to show them or educate them or I don't have plans or processes? And mm -hmm. it's challenging. And, you know, I made the excuse that I'm busy and that was my excuse. But the truth is, you got to make time for the people that are part of your organization that are important. And, you know, it, you know, big shout out to Danica, who's my social media manager. For all of you that follow me on social media, everything you see, you're like, oh, my God, Brad, that's such a great quote. You're welcome, but it's not me. And, and Anthony, who's my video editor, shout out to them, too, because they're going to be watching this. But you know, I kind of told them and, and I, I try to build that culture with them. And, and now I'm making more time. We meet every week to go over brainstorm and come over ideas and what do they need help with? And, and, you know, and I told them, you know, I, I love them. They've been great. I, I think I told you last time, I literally told them the Philippines is big, but I'll find them if they quit. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're awesome. Treating them well, giving them raises. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're an integral part of what I do and I can't do it without them. So to your point, point I learned that early on because I went through a couple of VAs if you remember early on yeah. um, I just wasn't as engaged as I am now and it, it's it's like anything you got to put into it what you want to get back and it's been a big difference don't you think oh 100% man um, you could see the night and day difference you know uh, there is a book I read called who that has to do with talent management and they interviewed 400 CEOs of public companies and they did a survey on them and asked them like out of all the things sales marketing uh admin like all of the different components of your business what do you uh what do you like um what is the biggest needle mover in your company as far as like results are concerned like what do you attribute it to and a i think it was like 90 or 80 percent besides the point just overall everything was talent management um building a team and because like at your your run brad you run multiple different companies you're in multiple different networks. If you had to be the person to do everything from networking to the sales calls, to the meetings, which you do a ton of already, but think of it if you had to do that plus everything else, all the components that are, you know, that make it move, your your brain would fry. Not possible. It would explode. Exactly. It's not possible. You it's burn not possible. Out. Yeah, you don't have enough time, you burn out, and um, it just becomes an issue that bleeds into your business. It bleeds into the relationships you have with business, with your associates, and it bleeds into your family life. It bleeds into the relationships with your loved ones. And so like you're getting two negative experiences from two of the things that are like the drivers in your life. And so if you don't properly have a good team, you don't properly have good training, then you're gonna be just running on a wheel like a rat race, just trying to get you know things done. And, it's, and it sucks, it sucks. Well, I think the big thing too is let's say you pay a, a VA fifteen hundred bucks or two grand, whatever that number is, you know, depending on what you're looking for, a thousand bucks. It depends what you're looking for. But what a lot of people say is, Well, Brad, I can't really afford one. And my question back to you is you can't afford not to have one. Yeah. Imagine if I freed up forty more hours a week. Let's say you were paying him fifteen hundred bucks, so call it eighteen thousand bucks a year. If I gave you forty more hours a week, are you selling two more houses a year? Are you yeah. spending more time with your family? The answer is always yes, right? And I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. It's like, am I ready for one? Look, you can fill a VA full of like, they're posting for you on social media, maybe you don't wanna do it, or doing your transactions, There's so many different things. But I think the next thing is, and we mentioned this last time is, you also can't have a VA that's gonna do everything for you. It's not fair, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my VA to be my transaction coordinator. And then they're gonna post for me on Facebook and Instagram. And then they're gonna do this and they're gonna edit my videos. It's like, there's the one person, like they can't know all this stuff. So how would you suggest to somebody that's like, how do you really hone in on what you really want help with? I, I think it starts with shifting the way you think about it. Um... I think that if you value money more than you value your time, your time will always be less, you know, you always get less money for your time. If you're valuing the dollar more than your time, then you'll always get less money uh, because chasing it, you know, chasing a dollar, you know, you're going to do anything, you know, to get it right. You're just, you're hot. You're putting that high value on the dollar. But if you don't shift your belief from knowing that your time is more valuable than a dollar, then you're not going to be able to open yourself up to new opportunities because if Brad, you've sold freaking millions of dollars and millions upon millions of dollars worth of houses, but I bet you that you had to form some sort of relationship with the team. You had to build some sort of administration process. And I bet you that you probably didn't do it on your own or that you had people that were good at what they did, 
and you know had you you catch that vision they do that and as a team you guys all rise up to the top that's right so if you value a dollar more than you value your time your time will always be worth less and if you can make that shift and understand that yes it's an investment if you if you hire a va for a couple thousand bucks and then you're paying them whatever it is amount per hour but here's the thing is like what can you do with that free time with 40 hours could you call more people? Could you knock more doors? Could you do more posts? Could you get more people to know who you are? And what you'll realize is not only once you start building systems for one thing, your brain will start moving naturally because now you're aware of all of the situations. You're aware of all the bottlenecks that are inside of your business. You're in that frame of mind that shows you, hey, if I could delegate this, I could probably delegate this too. You know. And as your team grows, as your processes grow, you're just creating these like machines, you know what I'm saying? That are just working. And so if you can change your mind, just that shift, I think that'll help a lot of people understand that. Yes, obviously money is important, but money is a resource that you can make back. You can't make more time. You can, if you hire a team, you can multiply your time. If you document your processes and show your team how to do the things that grow your business, then you can make more time. And that's the only time you can do that. Other than that, you're just chasing a dollar and you're wasting your time doing it. No, I think that was big for me too. Is I remember when I hired my first assistant, I didn't have enough money, but I needed, I knew I needed time. I actually went and sold stock to pay her my first check, but I haven't looked back since. And can you imagine if I didn't hire her? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like the, the fear of doing it. So in your training that you have for Agent Mafia, kind of yeah. what's, a, what's a quick maybe 60 seconds of what you're going to go over in the training for everybody yeah. that's listening? We're going to go over everything from building good standard operating procedures. And I'll tell you, I've got something for whoever's watching this right now already. Um, going over how to build proper standard operating procedures to really build your team and duplicate yourself. That's one of the main foundations. Uh, we're also going to go over like what are some tools to help you automate stuff. So sometimes when you're doing database management or sometimes when you're generating leads or just doing these different processes, there are a lot of manual tasks that can be that can be optimized by using software and a virtual assistant to make things more of an automated basis to free up time. So not only can you free up your time with a virtual assistant, but you can also free up your time by using systems online, different softwares that can help automate stuff, plus having a virtual assistant. So now you're like just going, you know, super fast on what you're trying to achieve. So we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover you know, even just like the, the mind frame behind building a successful team behind, like just the culture or what you want to, to breed inside of your company. Cause it, even if you have all the fancy tools, you have all the team members, if your culture isn't healthy and you're just sitting there barking orders, like a lot of it has to do with like learning that you're a leader. And sometimes it's hard for us to, cause we're our biggest critics, right? Sometimes we don't see ourselves as leaders and that's one of our biggest, one of our biggest walls to get hurdles to get over is like, Hey, like I'm an actual leader. What does a leader do? And so leadership in itself is a whole principle that could help, you know, with that team environment building. So it's going to be a collection of systems, how to use virtual assistants. And I think what I'm also wanting to do, I'm really interested in, and, and there can let me know, your audience can let me know too, is I want to bring on someone on the, on the, uh, on the trainings and actually help build processes with them real time um, and kind of like ha have them come back on and come back to the, the training and show everyone like how it's helped them. So like, we're not just going to go over training and not just going to learn stuff, but we're going to be implementing on our trainings as well and helping people that attend these trainings to actually implement right away. Cause it's super important. I want people to really, you know, get the most of it. That's awesome, man. So if people are uh, wanting to have interest in, in asking about VAs and stuff, what's the easiest way somebody can get a hold of you? All right. So you can go to rapid teams.com right now. There is a training that we usually reserve for our clients based on how to create an insanely fast SOP, which set the foundation. You can go there right now. You can get that training and you will we'll contact and reach, reach out to you if you want to. If you want to just reach out directly to me right away, you can email me at chris at rapidremoteteams.com and you can reach me that way as well. But if you go on to our actual website, rapidremoteteams.com, you can grab that training. Um, I went ahead and made sure that I... This is like, there's no fluff. I'm not talking about, you know, you know, theology for like 30 minutes before talking about myself. It's none of that. It's literally in less than 10 minutes, I'll show you how to triple your production, how to clone yourself, how to build a standard oper operating procedure that you can hand to a virtual assistant and duplicate your time. 
And so that's available right now if you go there, but or just email me, whatever works. That's awesome, man. So yeah, everybody, you know, we try to bring as much value as we can at Agent Mafia when we're interviewing all of our coaches. If you want a free 14-day trial, click the link below. Click in the look in the comments section. Chris, I always end it like this. Why did you choose to be an Agent Mafia coach, man? Man, honestly, because I wanted to be on interviews over and over again with you, Brad. That's why. <laughs> Uh, Beautiful. You no, know, honestly, the team here is awesome. You know, I've worked with with you for I, I think going on close to a, over. I know over a year for sure. Oh, at least. Yeah, at least a year. Um, Robert, I've known for about two, three years now, um, and then I've obviously grown to you know meeting some of the other members like Mark and like Shane. And you know, I think that you know this group of people is so forward thinking, and it's kind of like it's kind of dumb not to notice greatness when you see it and job, jump on the train and try to be of assistance um, to a group of people who are looking to grow something awesome and, and big and help people. And honestly, like I just see the potential that this could have for the industry and the potential they can have for, for the coaches, you know, and impacting a lot of people. And so like, I'm here, you know, and I want to be able to just be a part of this train and rock and roll with you guys and keep helping people. Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you being here. We'll see you around. Hopefully this one sticks, bro. Not that I don't want to see you again. So uh, we'll okay. see you around, man. <laughs> All right.